Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ruan from Anlisa's Custom Boutique. Today I'm going to show you guys how I create my designs using Canva for my onesies. And I'm just going to head over to canva.com. This is what the home page should look like. Where there is the words design anything, I'm just going to type in t-shirt. And you should see t-shirt pop up here. Now, I usually use the US letter document template, t-shirt template, or photo template and resize it when I'm doing my designs. But in this case today, I'm gonna to use the t-shirt template. So I'm just gonna click on that. And under the t-shirt template, you should see all the various templates come up here. And usually you can use any one of these. Now Canva is a paid subscription, but you can also work in it free and use another design space to save your file in the format that you want it to be used. I am on a one month subscription, so I'm using it to create my onesie. Now I'm looking for a repeat design, so I'm going to be using this design on the side, Mark Sneakerhead. This is a pretty popular design. So I'm working on this one for the onesie that I'm currently doing. So I'm just gonna click on that. And it should pop up in the design space. Now, if you look to the far left of the design space, you would see several topics here. The first one is the templates. Then you can click on uploads. If you have pictures that you want to upload, then photos, if you have photos that you want to use, you are free to use these. If you have paid for the subscription and some of them are free, there's also elements that are shapes, lines, etc. that you can use if you wish to. There's text and if you want to add a video, if you want to change the background, you can also do that as well as there is folders and much more. Now in this case, I am just working with the template that I have here. So I am going to change out these words, the onesie that I'm doing, it's a white onesie. So I want my words to be black. So I'm just gonna change the words out here. So let me just change the words here. The color scheme would be pink and black. And I'm going to put the word princess. It's a repetitive princess design. I'm just gonna do that. I'll change the words first and then I'll come back and change the colors of the words. One good thing that I like about Canva is that there's a marker here, this pink box. So you don't have to go over it. You have to work within it. Um, and it prints nicely. If you go over that marker, that's when you go over the design. So I'm changing out the words here. Let me just change the last word. Right, so I want the colors changed as well. So I am going to change the white words to black. And I want this word to be pink. Let me just pop the color in properly here. I need a deep pink. So I'm just gonna find that. Adjust this here. All right, so that's gonna be a deep pink. This one is going to be black. The box, I'm going to change the pink. Change the color of the box to pink. I want here to be pink as well. I'm gonna change the last one to black. Because it's a black background, you're not gonna see it. So let me see if I can change the background so that you can have an idea. All right. I'm just gonna shift some of them up so that they're even. Okay. Ok, 
okay and the last one and this is my design I always like to double check to make sure that I have the correct spelling because it's easy to spell the words incorrectly if you're staring at it for a while so black pink black pink black good this is my design so now that I've finished the completion of my design I'm just gonna head up to download so I'm just gonna click on download I work with Cricut Design Space and you can either save it in a PNG format or a JPEG. I'm going to use PNG and I'm just going to change the size to the greater size that they have which is 4667 by 6000 pixels and I'm just going to click transparent because I wanted to save with a transparent background and I'm just going to hit download and that's the end of it. So it's preparing my design and it's going to go to my download folder. I'm just going to go to my download folder and make sure it's there so you guys can see where it ends up. And I'm just going to click on downloads. And this is my file here. And this is my PNG file that I created. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I will check in with you on the next video. Bye.